Hello friends, we have a good news for you all. We will be covering the entire important points of series B part 1 within few minutes. So yes, hold on your cup of coffee or cup of tea and revise your series B part 1 within few minutes. <laughs> Quickly take out your notes and note down these important points. So first point is sub rule 5 of aircraft rules 1937 states that koi bhi aircraft dispatch nahi kiya ja sakta hai with defect or damage. Unless the defect has been covered in your MEL or deficiency list. This series is applicable for all operators whether they be scheduled, non-scheduled and general aviation operators. The operators prepare the MEL on the basis of MMEL that is Master Minimum Equipment List. And this MMEL is issued by State of Design or State of Manufacturer. MEL is approved by RAO under intimation to DGCA headquarter. He will be specifying his philosophy for invoking the MEL in the preamble of the MEL. His philosophy should always be that to continue flying a flight only when the inoperative equipment does not affect the safety or the airworthiness of the aircraft. And an operator have to ensure that no aircraft is dispatched with multiple defective items because of which the aircraft safety or airworthiness can be affected. Also, one must keep in mind that MEL does not include items like wing, fuselage, primary controls, landing gear, etc. Because the good serviceability of these items is extremely important for safety of the aircraft. Also, items like galley equipment, passenger convenience system, etc which do not at all affect the airworthiness of the aircraft should never be included in your MEL. The preamble of the MEL will be having the defect rectification period as given by the manufacturer and the MEL categories will be divided into four categories. Category A, B, C, D. Category A, the defect put in category A will be rectified within the time interval mentioned in the remarks column for category B within 3 days, for category C within 10 days and for category D within 120 days. Now for the calculation for of these categories, the defect day, the day on which the defect was found will be excluded. It will be calculated from night 12 o'clock that is from midnight to midnight. All the defects will be recorded in the aircraft maintenance logbook. Whenever the MEL will be invoked, the flight dispatch shall be informed. And an MEL can never and ever be less restrictive than MMEL. The opposite of this, that is, the MEL can never be less restrictive than MEL is not true. Only the statement MEL can never be restrictive than MMEL is true. Explanation of O and M items, then if any items like ETOPS, GPWS, TICTACAS, etc. are added in the MEL, then the local airworthiness office shall be informed and the list shall be sent to them. The symbol of MEL will also be containing the procedures of how to invoke the MEL after the chalks off and what procedures will be followed. The MEL will be having all the maintenance and operational procedures as given by the manufacturer either in the DDPG that is dispatch and deviation procedures guide or in the operations procedure. While applying for approval, the operator have to submit a certificate that the MEL has been prepared in consultation with the operation department. Next is regarding the approval of MEL. MEL in duplicate along with a copy of latest MMEL and the MMEL latest revision number will be mentioned in your MEL. When it will be forwarded to RAO, RAO will check the airworthiness point of view and after checking the airworthiness point of view, he will forward it to FOI. FOI will check if any excess crew load will occur or not because of these MEL items and he will check the operational point of view. After if everything is fine, then this copy will be approved by RAO under intimation to DGCA headquarter DAW. If there is any revision in your MMEL, then from the date of revision in MMEL within 30 days, the approval for MEL revision shall be done. The operator will mention in KME the procedure for revoking the MEL and also 
the operator specifically you can say cam continuing airworthiness manager he has to ensure that no aircraft is dispatched with multiple mel items at last the mel will be invoked by the ame or the approved pilot and the pilot can only invoke for operational items Congratulations friends we have completed the entire important points of series B part 1 within few minutes if you have any doubt then drop it in our comment box and if you want to watch detailed video of this series then the link is in our description box follow us on instagram facebook whatsapp telegram for the latest updates and the notes of these crash course